I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Corona. So, Corona is a really simple but really interesting character because she, most importantly, has this downward stab attack, which is just oh so satisfying. It's basically Link's downward stab from Zelda 2, uh, and a little bit easier to use than even that, I would say. A very nice bonus is that it is a guaranteed burst. You will never defeat an enemy with this and not get a burst. And that in and of itself is very nice, but it also does double damage compared to a regular shot to account for the fact that you can't do it quite as often. Um, it's not as good at defeating bosses as a regular shot, assuming you can mash properly enough. But um, <laughs> it is just a lot of fun. And it even has some movement properties. You do bounce a little bit higher, kind of like Mario. If you bounce off an enemy, you bounce a little bit higher than you were before if you hold the jump button. So it's both a traversal and an attack method. And its damage is also multiplied by the, uh, by the attack booster customization. And her other abilities are, her area ability is just like uh, Ikoro's. She just kind of floats and you can choose whether you want to slowly descend or stop descending completely. And you can also choose whether you want to keep your facing direction or not. Uh, she does not jump higher like Corona do or Ikoro does. And she does not have the lower HP that uh, Ikoro does either. So she's, she's not as difficult as a character to play as either. Um, speaking of uh, Ikoro, I forgot to mention in the video for her, um, she is actually free if you play the demo first and transfer your save over to the main game, you get Ikoro for free. So I definitely recommend doing that if you don't have the game yet, or just doing that in general, because Ikoro is really fun to play as, and hey, that saves you two bucks. So her ability on the other hand is uh, it's kind of like a little bit less interesting version of Ikoro's so she, when she has full demon power or at least 50% demon power you can activate it and she will deal double damage penetrate all defenses and uh, get a burst at any distance so it's kind of like the power up item that you can get plus it also breaks defenses it does not make her invincible like Ikoro does but um it's a little bit hard to tell the damage multiplier because uh, most things die to one hit to this anyway, but uh, it's very nice for bosses, especially certain bosses that have really annoying patterns that uh, keep them invincible, like, uh, what's his name? The Ice Boss. He is extremely annoying without this, and uh, he, <laughs> you can mop him up in just a few seconds with her skill. It's nothing super amazing. My favorite part of her gameplay is definitely the downward stab. I've been going through every level just downward stabbing every single enemy since I got it. It is really fun. And uh, her layouts are also a little bit altered. You might have noticed, you might not have. Um, one of the bigger alterations is these enemies. Uh oh. <laughs> That wasn't so smart. Those enemies that usually pop up and explode into different pieces, um, those do not explode in Corona's gameplay because that makes it a lot easier for you to use the uh, downward stab on them. So her layouts are a little bit altered. Her uh, treasure locations are actually a little bit altered as well. Which I think is just for the sake of making her bounce gameplay uh, as effective as possible. Yeah, it is just very, very fun. If you played, um, I guess kids these days might be more familiar with Shovel Knight's Downward Stab than Zelda 2's, but it's basically the same thing. Or the, uh, a little bit like the Pogo in DuckTales for the NES. And it is just, as you can see on a boss here, it doesn't hit as often as you might want for a boss, so you'll probably want to mash on a boss, as you can see. Uh, but elemental effects do affect her downward stab too, so it is a highly effective attack. And that is pretty much how you play as Corona. Everything else is pretty much standard. She gets the abilities pretty much everyone else does. And um, I really would recommend immediately going for both her aerial action and to the downward stab in terms of which uh, treasures and which areas you uh, prioritize going through. But other than that, that's Corona, and have fun.